Have you ever wondered if this version of you exists in another world? Some scientists believe that there are only two universes of which we are in one, while some scientists believe in parallel universes. That is, our universe is just one of the several universes that all occur simultaneously, which only differs in past and present. Scientists in eastern Tennessee are moving forward to make some findings if truly parallel universes exist, but will they succeed in it? Keep watching till the end of the video to see scientists attempt to open the portal to a parallel universe. Parallel universes are an idea from the multiverse theory that suggests that several universes are parallel to each other. This idea was first conceived in 1954 by Hugh Everett III, a Princeton student who developed the idea that the universe was constantly dividing and each division would become another universe that is usually similar to each other. This theory was called the multiple worlds theory. In parallel universes, there might be some slight differences, such as the outcome of world wars can be different from each other. Humans also might be different in various universes, and some species, such as dinosaurs, could still be alive. This Everett's theory came as a result of giving answers to some questions that were raised from the quantum physics experiment. For many years, Everett's theory sounded unreasonable. But recently, scientists have found interest in it again because some scientists conducted some experiments that show that Everett's theory is theoretically true. The Equipment to See the Parallel Universe Years ago, scientists in eastern Tennessee built equipment that would give us a glimpse of a parallel universe. The team has been looking for proof of a right-handed version of our left-handed universe. They have compared this experiment to the upside down in Stranger Things. One of the lead researchers said that this parallel universe could be similar to our own universe, which has mere particles and mere planets. This is why it's called the mere universe. Leah Broussard, one of the lead researchers involved in the project of opening a portal to another universe, said that it's pretty wacky, but it will totally change the game. Part of Broussard's experiment is that a beam of subatomic particles will be fired down a 50-foot tunnel. The researchers have explained that a way to know that the experiment is successful is that some of the particles which are being tested will change into a mere image of themselves. The researchers have also made it known that if their research goes as planned, they will have their own mere history. The few seconds that rocked physics Due to a lot of scientific quests, the search for mere matter came out of a little esoteric mystery. Then, in the early 1990s, some physicists came together to develop high-precision experiments to study how particles that exist in the nuclei of atoms break down into protons, which is connected to radioactivity. The experiments took an unusual turn. Researchers discovered that neutrons formed in particle beams similar to the beam that Broussard used last close to 15 minutes before it decays into protons. But neutrons, kept in a laboratory bottle, seem to decompose a few seconds less than the former. The few seconds difference might sound little, but the real difference should be zero because every neutron is the same and their behavior should not depend on where or how they are examined. A particle physics expert, Benjamin Grinstein, said he takes discrepancy very seriously. And it's not only between two experiments. Instead, it is a collection of many experiments done independently by several groups. He added that the newest experiments, conceived in part to resolve the disagreement, have only made it worse. Grinstein believes that there is a possibility that some neutrons do not only decay into protons, but unpredictably into particles and he hasn't found anything so far. Around 10 years ago, Anatoly Serebrov in Russia introduced the concept that ordinary neutrons sometimes pass into the mirror world and change into mirror neutrons. Once that happens, they can no longer be detected because it will be as though some of the neutrons have disappeared. When Broussard explains, she said, that will make the neutron lifetime look wrong. The reason being that some of the neutrons would have vanished while the researchers in the test experiment were studying them. There is an 85 megawatt nuclear reactor at Oak Ridge that can fire out billions of neutrons on demand. Therefore, the issue is not with getting enough raw materials to work. But the difficult part is how to make the neutrons cross over into the mirror world and show her doubting colleagues that it worked. Running the experiments will take about a day, while collecting data and removing every error will take up to three weeks. These were the barriers that were faced. 
Broussard hopes to find any telltale neutrons which have managed to overcome this obstacle by changing into mere neutrons and transforming back. The Mirror Universe Experiment and the Dark Matter Broussard's Mirror Universe Experiment could give answers to dark matter. In the universe, dark matter is one of the strangest things. It cannot be seen but has huge gravitational effects. It's what makes up most of the universe and causes the universe to expand. But interestingly, a galaxy was found by astronomers in 2018 which lacked dark matter. This surprised a lot of people, including astronomers. A lot of galaxies such as the Milky Way form ellipticals. When it comes to theories, some scientists go a bit outside the box, as we can see in Daniel Niemes, a research scientist with a strong passion for astronomy. It was found that he is doing some research about beings that live within an unidentified plane of existence. When Daniel announced this, many people were amazed because there is one major unanswered question. Are we alone in the universe? Space agencies said they are not sure if we are alone because billions of planets and galaxies exist. Daniel has gained influence because he said he has a technology that can contact and picture strange beings. He said this technology is the evidence we need to prove that we are not the only ones in the universe. Daniel showed interest in the topic after he read about dark matter. Daniel knew the technology that could capture wavelengths such as ultraviolet. As a result of using his methods, he was able to capture these beings even though he hasn't said anything regarding where the beings are coming from and how he was able to capture them. To him, he named it energy vision. It can be achieved by using various kinds of lenses and natural sunlight. Zerab Berizani, a scientist in Italy who once conducted his own mere neutron searches, explained the dark matter. He said the dark matter has not been easy to find because it is kept in the mere world. As a result of this, he concluded that dark matter and mere matter is the same. But then the mere world is not widespread. It is more huge than ours. At a recent conference, Berizani expanded on the concept by describing a valid parallel reality that has a lot of mere black holes, stars, and galaxies. The Outcome of the Portal Attempt After the researchers made an attempt, many expectantly waited to see if indeed the attempt would be successful. According to Leah Broussardi, when she was interviewed in her words, she said, So the question I get the most is, were we successful in opening the portal? And unfortunately, no, we did not find any evidence of parallel universes or new interactions with the neutron in the dark sector. She said that the experiment's goal was to know if neutrons went through a wall that they knew could stop neutrons. The reason is that neutrons might be transforming into dark matter. She stated that dark matter does not seem to interact with their original matter which would just go through the wall. This will enable them to try to get the neutron to change back. She concluded that seeing evidence of new particles doesn't mean they have found a new universe, but they have a better understanding of the particles that make up our universe. What do you think about the Tennessee scientists attempting to open a portal to a parallel universe? Will we ever find the parallel universe with the new space developments NASA and other space agencies are doing? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks!